In this lecture, you will be creating your first Jenkins Hello World job. After you have started Jenkins, open up your browser and go to the Jenkins login page. Then you log in with the admin credentials. Here you see the Jenkins dashboard. Now you can create your job either by clicking on the create new jobs link or by clicking on the new item link on the menu to the left. Let us use the create new jobs link. In the next page, enter a name for the job. Call it hello world. Then click on freestyle project and click OK. This brings us to the job configuration page. Here you see several sections that can be configured for the job. The general section consists of the project name, workspace details and so on. The source code management section is used if we want our job to interact with a version control system like Git. We will in fact be using this a lot during the course. The build triggers section is used if your job needs to get triggered by an external entity like a script or a version control event. In the build section, you can run your OS commands or you could invoke scripts for Ant, Maven or Gradle. The post build action section is typically used to publish reports that get generated in the build step. It is also many times used to send out notifications or to trigger other jobs in case of a build pipeline. Let us look at the build section for now. Click on Add Build Step and choose Execute Windows Batch Command. If you are on a Linux system or a related OS, choose Execute Shell. Then type in Echo Hello World and save the project. Now go back to the dashboard. Here you see the project is created. And also notice that it has various columns to give a summary of the job. You could see the job status, the stability that is indicated by the weather column. Here you see a sunny weather. There are also other statuses that are indicated by a cloudy or a rainy status. The job can be run either by clicking the down arrow and choosing the build or by getting into the job and clicking build now. Once clicked, in a few seconds, you see the first build below. Let's get into the build and check out the details on the console. It shows that the job was started by the admin user and that it has completed successfully. You also see the echoed message, hello world. Let's go back to the project page and look at what other menu options are there. There is a workspace option and clicking on that would typically show workspace files. Our job has no files in the workspace as it just does an echo of some text onto the console. Then there is a delete project and the status option is just the job main page. You can click on configure if you want to make any changes. Let's do that. Again go to the build section and change the text. Save it and then click on build now. The second job is triggered and the change is now printed on the console. That brings us to the end of this lecture. Congratulations on having built your first Jenkins job. In subsequent lectures, you will understand and build more advanced jobs and create a fully functional CI CD pipeline. Thank you.